Welcome to the CFG Gamecast, episode number 42, a weekly podcast created by gamers and streamers alike to discuss the latest gaming topics from the previous week. We stream a new episode on the weekends and release it on podcast services like Apple, Google Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, and Podbean. We are also on our main website, confreaksandgeeks.com. If you've missed any episodes in the past, so definitely check it out. So show us some love, give us a follow, a like, a thumbs up, what have you. And to not, and also just stop by in any of those services to not miss an episode. I am Mr. CFG Games himself, Davis Green, and with me are a f- are two of my favorite awesome co-hosts. I got Lex on the second seat. How are you doing? I am doing well. Uh, I took yesterday off and just unplugged and didn't do anything, and it was fantastic. Oh my god! It's not, you know Loved it's so it. good to be like to completely unplug, especially with the climate that we are in today right now. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Like it's so nice to do that, and then just uh, just to kind of relax. So that's good. That's definitely good. Everyone needs to have some some sort of time to do th- to do that kind of deal. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I I on the other hand was did not. <laughs> so, <laughs> I to, uh, so I need to do that soon before I go crazy. But that's good. That's awesome. Yeah. Yes, and I got the five star general of the itty bitty Smitty committee. I got Smitty in the third seat. What's up, buddy? What's going on, my friend? All right. I know you. You're just probably waking up zombie like with the crazy gameplay gaming that you've been doing the past like 24 hours. Let me let me tell you. Let me tell you real quick. So I streamed uh, Thursday, Friday. Both days I had uh, issues with my ISP throttling my upload speeds. Uh, in the middle of my streams, like one, yeah. like it, it happened, like it was crazy. Like my, I was getting like one up Whoa. Uh, out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I put a thing in and nothing, you know, it, it, it corrected itself in the morning or the next day or, or a different time. And then it did it again the next night, but it was much later when it happened. So they're like doing like, I don't know if they're doing like rolling throttles uh, to people's internets uh and whatnot but that was a little uh that was definitely frustrating however last oasis they brought their servers back up the other night gosh we played it a little bit on stream it is so freaking good uh well done i'm starting today after podcast that's right yes that's right yep yeah, um, they they did a you know the development team they did a good job communicating with the uh, 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 community. Uh, they brought it back. That game is super fun. I highly recommend uh, go checking that out. But I was up until about eight o'clock this morning uh, playing that. Uh, had a ton of fun. So uh, you know, and then I woke up and 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 here we are. So <laughs> you eight o'clock this morning. You woke up and it's been a good weekend. Yeah, it's straight. You had like a perfect weekend, man. You had no like yeah, little no. to no responsibility right there. <laughs> so that's yeah, no, it's been it's been fantastic. Well, got some got some uh, uh, animal uh, animal crossing in. Yeah. Excuse me, Animal Crossing in with uh, uh, the family too. Uh, we got another set of controllers so we could all play at the same time. Uh, yeah, no, it's been it's been fantastic. That's awesome, dude. You definitely need that. You deserve that, especially as hard you've been working the past week mm-hmm. or so. so. Grind. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and if you didn't notice, we have a very special guest with us today. I'm so glad that she's uh, she came with us to go see uh, to be a part of the conversation. We have the amazing Gothics. You should definitely check her out. Let's give her a shout out for gothics here on the in the chat so thank you so much uh so gothics how are you doing i'm doing good you know i felt like i didn't do anything today like i said i woke up around new time uh i i'm losing track of what day is what with all this quarantine i can't figure out if it's sunday or friday you know (laughs) um but otherwise I'm, i'm doing as good as i can be that's cool. And if uh, also, if anyone doesn't know who you are, what do you uh, like? What do you do? Uh, uh, like, what do you like to stream? What kind of stuff do you like to do? I like to stream nonsense, uh, <laughs> so completely and utter nonsense. So if you're looking to just have a good time and laugh your ass off, um, that's what I mainly do. I don't really have much of an agenda except just go with the flow. Yeah, I definitely love like the setup, the space, the the, the spaceship, everything. Steve, all that stuff was really it's great, great, great content. So definitely, thank you, thank you for stopping by on the co- conversation. So the uh, as for me, man, I've been actually chilling i'm actually chilling this this whole past week which is actually surprising i've been so caught up i finished 
uh, Lex, I did finish Persona 5 Royal. So, did you? <laughs> yes, 130 nice. hours. It took me 130 I hours saw, to beat I that saw, game. I saw the review got uploaded. Yeah, oh, yeah. And, oh, you saw the, the review? The long-awaited review. Hey, what'd you think of it? It was a good <laughs> review. Uh, you gotta say, I was a pretty good review. So, like, <laughs> don't want to toot my own horn, but uh, I'm 135 a good hours. Yes. <laughs> I mean... It should be a good review. It should be a good review. I, mean, yes. I would be shocked if it wasn't. Here's the scariest thing. I'm doing it again. I'm playing it again. I saw. Yeah, I, saw. I got a Twitch notification for you streaming it. I love the game. The game is so good. Wow. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I love RPGs, man. But this one was like. Uh, I was like, I kind of want to platinum this, and because uh, I love, and uh, this makes me want to play the game again. So I've just been uh, on the grind on. I put back. at least a hundred in the first time I played it, like the original. I'm oh, playing yeah. the original now. At Stop night. playing the original. You get the no! one. <laughs> Are you gonna give me the game? I am not made of money, man. Okay. Well. See, I'm, I'm conflicted. <laughs> Because I never finished um, Xenoblade Chronicles, the original one, mm -hmm. mm. and now they're coming out with the eight, like the HD remaster of yeah. it and everything. And yes. like it, I thought it was just going to be your typical upscaling, but the textures still aren't going to be great or whatever. But it looks really actually like a lot better than I thought they were going to do. I think it. they but, upgraded like, they're it actually, to exactly like like how Xenoblade like, put, Two put, was. It, it, yeah, it looks like two. So now I'm just like. Do I go back and finish it, or do I wait a couple months? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, wait a couple months. Just wait a couple of months. You might as well at this point because everything I is going to be complete. To buy it again. Oh my god, and this is where that's. I guess, <laughs> I guess that's where Lex's uh, reasoning is there. That makes sense. But go for yeah. it. And, okay, but, but she's going to buy it again anyway. <laughs> that I is am. true. That is true. But anyways, I mean, uh, my birthday's also coming up, so you never know. Oh, uh, okay. Well, there we go. You know, yeah, you never know. Maybe someone would be nice enough to give you that game because that's what it's going to be. But if you want to check the video out of our the the Persona Five review, we did have we just posted it inside the chat. Uh, definitely give a, a take a look at it. Uh, but let's get this this party started and uh, basically let's do the whole rig and roll. So each of us chooses a new topic or discussion of video games that came out the previous week. The topic would or could be about a specific game or something that happened here in the gaming industry. We don't want talk about this amongst ourselves we want all the viewers that are on this that's on the stream to be a part of the conversation so if uh, we have Faye in the background uh, look, looking up everyone's uh, con uh, uh, comments if it's something that you're wanting to add to it by all means do it and if she'll let us know and we'll be we'll put it a part of the, the podcast so definitely let's just get uh, we'll get this going so we'll start with our special guest gothics what do you want to bring to the table Y'all, we need to talk about this coronavirus and how the coronavirus is saying no games for you because The Last of Us Two got delayed, and I'm very upset. So let's so let's talk about that. let's talk about that. Yes, big time. I will definitely want to. I have some things to say about that too. But go go for it. Okay, uh, but yeah, go for it. What do you? Uh, so what, why does it upset you so much? So, like, first of all, I just, I, I, I'm just emotionally attached to the storyline, uh, and I don't normally say that about a lot of games. It just had like a beautiful storyline to it, and yeah. I was looking forward to it. And like, I'm just a little bit scared about the indefinitely thing, because as far as I know, like, are they done with the game? Like, is it, is it like finished development? Okay, so they didn't officially say gold phase, which basically means it's base. Gold is usually when uh, it's going to be, it, it's, uh, it's ready for virtual production at that point it's not quite ready but it's like months uh, a month away uh, uh for it and then uh but uh they didn't officially say that they uh but uh but like i think that it's not a matter of like i i feel how this delay happened is not because of production like i think it's because mm -hmm. of the climate that we're in uh, because mm -hmm. uh, overall, the way that they that when they uh, first initially pushed it out, they kind they, they we were like, okay, that makes sense. We want you're wanting to scrub it, just uh, scrub it. But the way that they just kind of just said indefinitely, when they say indefinitely, that means something. That means that they were not close <laughs> whatsoever to release this thing, which I don't believe that they that they were not uh, because I mean they've been working on this forever, and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, it's way way too late. Like I mean, it would have been technically a month away for it to be released at this point now, and uh, so I think they just didn't want to release it during during what uh, what's going on currently. Personally, I mean, it's not official, but that's what I think. You know. <laughs> yeah. But 
Oh, we're just yeah. I, I, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead, Lance. Go ahead. Well, here's my thing. Like, I, I there's a lot of like like movies that are being postponed uh, because they don't want to. I mean, a lose out on that revenue. And I I understand. You put all this money, you put all this time, you lose out on revenue. So for them, I'm gonna think of it from like a marketing standpoint. Um, it's stupid because here's the thing: it's not a movie; it's a video game. And if you're not releasing it because of the coronavirus, that's absolutely silly. You have such a huge fan base. I haven't even played this game, and I know how big the fan base is. Which I'm usually oblivious to stuff unless it's in my little world of nerd. Um, <clears throat> but this is a game that I looked forward to playing. I wanted to, the second one to come out because I didn't want to play the first one and the second one. I'd have to wait for it. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and so, because I'm I'm not a patient person. Like I. I'm instant validation. This is why I hate ordering stuff online. <laughs> but from a marketing standpoint, now is the perfect time. Uh, yes, maybe you didn't get to like release it at cons and all of that. But here's the thing is all these people are sitting around twiddling their thumbs waiting for something to do. Now is the time to put it out. So I, I mean, I don't, I'm curious as to what the reasoning is. Like, it, was it not done? And because of the coronavirus, you know, you have people out and sick, which is understandable. And it's terrible. And I understand firsthand on that one but at the same time it's what are you guys doing and what does indefinitely mean you know what i mean like give us a little bit more details than that is, is what my thought process is go ahead sweetie sorry um yeah i'm i'm, I'm kind of leaning the same way that you are and and you know we know that there was they had a delay i'm completely fine with uh games doing that and and, and companies doing that if you need more time you know people are willing to wait uh for a completed uh project and especially something that's so highly anticipated um it kind of feels to me like they're using this as a way to push it back a little bit uh again i kind of feel like they're not at a place that they feel good about because again if they're this shouldn't i mean even though there's this digital copies th th there's no shipping that needs to be done any of this stuff so i can understand physical copies being delayed due to the coronavirus but there's should have been nothing stopping digital copies i feel like uh, again i don't know exactly how that world works do you have to uh release your physicals at the same time as your digital i'd say in an ideal world yes mm -hmm. but this is not an ideal world right now mm -hmm. uh right. things are you know what I mean? So, and and kind of to uh, uh, to uh, uh, Lex's point, um, this is the time now that you want to get games in hand in people's hands. Everybody's indoors. Everybody's looking for something. These are, you know, I I, I I'm just as heartbroken as everybody else. I've been waiting for this. Uh, the Last of Us is one of my all time favorite games. It's a fantastic story. I'm ready to get back in and and explore that world again. Um, so, you know, again, there's 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 definitely uh, there's there's heartbreak there, but I'm not I'm not again I'm not one to jump on the oh how dare you guys do this look man all right I don't know what the deal is but clearly you guys there's you guys need some time you guys made a decision uh, to to uh, right. you know ride this out a little bit I trust enough in what you guys have done what you guys have produced with the with the first one mm -hmm. that whatever you guys need to do to make this fire do it i'm yeah. I'm, I'm cool with it so but like, I, like you know I, said, I don't think that but I, I, it's just it's just something about it just makes me feel like this was a little different than what we've normally seen what we've normally saw like i mean like dude there was a giant purge of games that were delayed because of like you know because originally remember march was supposed to be a stacked month of like all these games final fantasy 7 uh last of us 2 neo 2 all these different kinds of games were going to be coming in at the same time and then eventually oh um cyberpunk 2077 was supposed to come out in march uh but mm -hmm. like they uh so all these things uh got pushed back accordingly which is which was perfectly fine because we were like this is way too many games coming out in one month that, that you're trying to kind of put everything together but like when La but like and then when last of us 2 was a part of that we were like okay this makes sense uh it's not it's not like you're waiting for a year uh, you announced it earlier like you did the final fantasy 7 uh remake which was like announced four years ago uh, yeah. uh, uh and then just come in and then just come in and just say okay we're gonna it's coming out this year we know it's coming out this year but like yeah. i feel that when they did when they said uh a delay like when they were going to delay it and then they just say okay well, it's going to be delayed it's going to be delayed for this period of time then it's like okay we understand but you 
just they decided to skip it they decided to just say we're indefinitely going to say we're, we're indefinitely delaying this thing which is what like does that mean? yeah it, which basically gives them an infinite amount of space or wiggle room to say okay so what are you going to do? We know you're not going to you're not going to release this game in the midsummer because that's one of the worst months, even in general in the normal in the normal climate, uh, is one of the worst months to release a game. You don't want to do that. You would want to release the game either at the in the August or September. You do you want to release a PS4 game during PS5 uh, in October, November when the next right. gen system is going to come out? No, you're not. You don't no. want to do that. So I mean, like, so what are y'all planning on doing? Like, are you what, are you planning on pushing it forward to the next gen system and then just say and just say we're just going to say uh, to the ps4 there's yeah. so many different things that, yeah saying, dude. there's so many I different would tools. Now. It would be yeah. tools not to have a ps5 version that's why i think that they're stalling because they're working on that because it, yep. why would you they did the same thing happen with uh, the last of us kind of it was around when that cycle from ps uh was three. it ps3 to ps4 yeah yeah, yeah three to four and I, I was like i'm not gonna go and buy this on ps4 now i already have it on ps3 so i never went in and did a lot of the things because again i never went back and started playing my ps3 again uh so i feel like they're trying to not make that same mistake which that to me makes sense um I, and you know i get it Nintendo yeah. did that for both Twilight Princess and Breath of the Wild, so there's I mean, but no reason why someone else can't do it. Yeah, but Twi yeah, Twilight Princess did a little bit different though. Uh, they basically did a mirror world, which made it release at the same time, which was actually kind of cool. Like if you've noticed, uh, in Twilight Princess, mm -hmm. uh, Link was holding his sword on the right hand in his right yep. hand, and in the uh, GameCube version, it was the same game, but it, he was holding his sword in the left hand. So like right was left and vice versa, which decided yeah, Link to, is to traditionally left-handed, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, newer games, he's not like. Hey, that was when did. I loved. I even loved Skyward Sword. Like I didn't have problems with the le like the motion controls, but I'm left-handed, so it was like I had to get used to it for yeah. sure. But but I mean, it's like yeah. So I mean, I don't know. I mean, what, I mean, it's sorry. Uh, were you, were you going to say something, Goth? I'm sorry. I thought you were going to say something. No, I think that um, kind of what you said about like the summertime is kind of like the worst time to release a game. It could be that maybe because of the huge following that they have, like they have like a dedicated fan base for this game. Yeah. I, I I would kind of feel bad releasing something and while this whole thing is going on right now because it's like people were expecting like a big like hurrah like here it is you've been waiting for it mm -hmm. instead of just like limiting it just to like you know uh, downloadable copies and just kind of doing it just to do it right. Um, yeah, so that's I, I think it could be a combination of just like not wanting to just kind of go for like a lackluster release, but also maybe because they're working on something for the next gen. That is very yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Do you know what I also kind of think though too? Is actually could it be also that they may be a little bit afraid of like you know it might be hitting a little too close to home on what we're experiencing kind of right now. Not like not to the level of what Last of Us is, but. You know, I mean, yeah. it's essentially what we're kind of doing. It's like it's barren. It's barren. It's uh, it's desolate right now, from the most part, from big big cities, and and stuff. Maybe they think that it wasn't. It's not the right, you know, place to kind of say, hey, uh, we're going to be doing a uh, di uh, a post dystopian like you know civilization of like what's happening and uh, uh, and uh, just for people to survive. You know, I mean, it's I mean, it's so many different options, but. Dude, the thing that really punched me in the gut was the word indefinite. That's what really got me. It's like, uh, it's like that hurts. <laughs> like you just, uh, uh, like I was saying before the show, it's like uh, we were perfectly fine for GDC to be to be moved over to a later date. We were perfectly fine that E3 was 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 completely canceled. But when they said <laughs> Last of Us Part Last Two Us. <laughs> was indefinitely delayed, we're like, "What the hell is this?" <laughs> you know, I mean, we just we just decided we we're kind of like, "Okay, we just want to flip a table for this because this is like it's that that's like I mean, what Final Fantasy Seven remake is coming out in literally like six days, uh, six days from when we record this, and it's like, what if they just said, "Okay, we're going to indefinitely re delay this one too"? It's like people would probably right. grow riot. crazy fits yeah <laughs> yeah they uh, would riot they would have uh, social distancing riots right now so <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah so i don't know but it, yeah so it's it sucks it sucks but uh oh man i like we'll need to be keeping a close eye on when this game comes out um this because i mean last of us one was a freaking masterpiece i was like uh, it's one of my favorite uh one of the best games that came out on the ps3 and unfortunately was like the, near the end of its time but it's like 
like two where we have high hopes for two especially the hype from what they've been saying for the past three years on it so so yeah so <laughs> but that's cool so, no, nice topic you got there i uh, got that was good <laughs> uh, thank you thank you <laughs> yes <laughs> all right uh so the next one uh we'll go with uh we'll go with uh, uh smitty oh uh, uh, what are you bringing to the table you know what it doesn't, it doesn't matter right, what yeah i know dude it doesn't matter what i'm going to yeah, say uh, <laughs> real quick real yes. quick before we go to the next person uh uria has a question about what your favorite game is gothics uh bioshock Oh, uh, I know you're a Bioshock yeah. fan. That's cool. Yeah, specifically Bioshock One. Mm-hmm. Even Two wasn't a fan of the third one. Mm. What was that? Infinite, or was that the? Yeah. Oh, or was there? A, was there like a prequel or something? I can't remember. I'm not the big. one with uh, them in the cloud. Infinite is yeah, the. Infinite. It's okay. like a. It's a prequel sequel <sighs> weird thing. There's oh, okay. time travel dimensions all that weird stuff yeah yeah i really like infinite but i know the story definitely isn't as strong but i like the gameplay in infinite the best but i think bioshock one has the best story oh yeah i mean people have been wanting me to play that game it's like it's on my to play game list which is like oh you gotta play it oh Oh, yeah it's a great game Okay, that's cool. <laughs> that's definitely cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, oh wait, Bad Mark just proposed that social distancing riot would not be a riot. Also, I all yeah, everyone no. just blew <laughs> yardsticks to their belts and just spin around. Stood up and away from. It's me. like they're just yeah, they're right. Six feet, six feet. Yeah, everyone's got to make a six. F- everyone has to make a six foot sign so you can just like shove it at people if they get too close. <laughs> Do you see that picture of the guy with the saucer? Like he had literally had like a like a. a a strapped like a saucer around him to show the circumference so (laughs) no no one can touch him around it is i didn't see that yeah yeah it's like that's what everyone's wearing for that riot (laughs) it's just that's a straight (laughs) discus uh line of discus people Uh, my favorite's all the really bad homemade masks oh yeah (laughs) that's my yo somebody on my facebook somebody on my facebook literally was using her thongs uh oh no oh no No, she was not great up dude i'm not lying Thongs? Oh, no, not God. you. Not you. She, she specified they're clean. I don't but believe still, I, you know, I like no, dude. She posted pictures and everything, dude. <laughs> oh, that's disturbing. My, my favorite one I heard of when watching a stream was. Enough, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe her mouth's I, real small. I just don't. <laughs> my my favorite one I heard though was um some dude had like one that was basic was like it was made from like a plastic bag you could see the zip lock like oh no label on it and it was just fogged up that's disturbing <laughs> all right smitty what do you got to bring what do you bring to the table all right so i i can't really believe too that i i feel like i've been sleeping on amazon and their entrance into ga- into the gaming space uh so they actually have um there's a game there's a sci-fi fps shooter that's coming out i believe it's this month mm-hmm. uh called crucible uh, they've been working on this and whatnot. Again, I've been sleeping on this. I was not familiar with this really at all. Uh, but I find it interesting. You know, again, we know that uh, uh, Amazon uh, owns Twitch. So, uh, you know, they're actually working on for this summer as well uh, games that are going to be interactive between the streamer and viewers, which obviously between the two, there's going to be some nice integration. I'm excited for that. Um, but they've got this, they've got an, uh, open world MMO that's coming out, um, as well. And I just want to kind of get into the, uh, into the, uh, article real quick, as far as what they're doing, uh, uh, on cloud gaming, uh, it says that they're developing a full fledged cloud gaming platform under the code name project (laughs) tempo. And it is working on new casual games that broadcasters on its popular Twitch streaming service can play alongside viewers in real time. Um, yeah, this this other one that's kind of uh, uh, Lord of Rings uh, inspired and whatnot. But I think this is uh, like I'm kind of excited to see what they do both in the gaming space. Uh, what they, I mean, obviously, uh, everybody knows that there, there's kind of this race going on. I feel like with cloud gaming, um, Stadia came out. We all know I just canceled yeah. the, the sub, um, the other day. I forgot that it was still charging me. <laughs> Google, you got me. Oh, you by got the way, me, Google. Do you know it's funny? It's good, yeah, Stadia did charge. Well, no, I canceled Stadia last month, but uh, uh, yeah, that was the one probably out of the group of us the one advocate of it but still the uh uh but hey i said try it 
try it before you hate it and then i did and then i was like this is actually not bad technology but from what they're doing it's not where it's not for me so it's just uh, not there yet it's, it's i don't think it's going to ever be because of the because of the, the because of the decisions that they're making on it but uh yeah i don't know but uh not steady yet uh, yeah geforce now though i felt like Stadia's was a lot more not. viable mm -hmm. however geforce now is they're running into their own problems uh with developers pulling out uh there's that weird thing where they never signed it they're like they were all part of that beta mm. for it but once it like actually launched they started charging their subscription fee obviously these devel developers said you know we need our piece of the pie as well uh so they started backing out because they had no formal thing yeah. with it so it's like that i felt like is is like infrastructure wise and how they how it ran or what we got that 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 taste of it uh i feel like it's pretty solid and has been one of the most successful cloud gamings but we know that microsoft uh microsoft cloud x is coming playstation has partnered with uh microsoft as far as with you being able to utilize their uh structure for cloud gaming mm. um uh there's another one too and i can't remember uh amazon amazon then is coming out with the uh, project tempo so they're they've got a uh uh you know a foot in a the race there uh, well, and i think there's another one too microsoft or no i already said that. well it's kind of weird because like uh yeah because like, i knew about project Temp i knew about project tempo for a long time um they we've talked about it yeah they, but they did the, yeah so did like, we i don't remember I talking don't about it that. up because I, I wouldn't have known of it otherwise, to be honest. Well, this is something you that they've been up. doing for like over like like Amazon's been working on this ever since they bought Twitch. So this is something like so the uh, so in a position wise as a company to be starting to be in the gaming in the gaming uh, the gaming space. They actually have product from the uh with uh as opposed to what stadia did which was that they're depending on third party a lot uh, initially they do have one game that's exclusive to stadia which was guilt but like other than that they don't have i mean then they do have studios but the it takes like two to three years for those games to come out so but uh but amazon's been working on this forever like uh like lo like the the one that you were just saying i never i didn't even know they were crucibles was the first one that were coming out i thought the lost world was going to be the first one and uh they've been working on Lo the lost world for literally like since 2016 and so like they uh so they have three games that's coming in the in the process now mixed with the fact that they own twitch their level of integration for that platform since everything is going to be i'm assuming is going to be going through aws <laughs> uh, which is a uh, amazon's cloud cloud systems is going to be ridiculous especially for for streamers i mean i mean for people who like to stream and like to entertain and stuff uh because like some of the stuff that they were already introducing inside lost world uh uh for 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 viewers for the interaction was actually surprising and i think I, and I, when i messed around with it was a. Uh, was at TwitchCon 2018, I believe. So like the, uh, uh, so I'm just, uh, so I'm surprised. I'm, I, I would like to, the idea of Amazon doing their own, uh, their own gaming that integrates Twitch to it is an inc is a great idea in my opinion. So like, uh, uh, I think it would be like, uh, just the idea of what they're wanting to do, what they can do and what, since they have both sides of the, uh, of the, uh, of the spectrum as a viewer and as a gamer, uh, uh, viewer as in the streamer side, I, they can do a lot with it. So I have high expectations on what they're going to do with crucibles. Uh, well, actually I did play crucibles. It's like an arena based shooting game. So yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. That was all. Yeah. So yeah. So it's a, it's really cool. I mean, so what, the, what did y'all think? Uh, I, I've seen a, a commercial for crucible and I, I when it said, are we going to run out of toilet paper? Like that image. I've seen that image before. <laughs> um, I, so I know I've seen these commercials, which is more to say about that than the Resident Evil 3. Like, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> um, Crucible looks cool. Someone uh, brought it up to me. I want to say Quack Quack last year had said something about Crucible, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. um, and I think he was talking about like some sort of beta testing, but by the time I got to it, it wasn't open anymore. I could be completely wrong on that. Mm -hmm. um, it looks really neat. I mean, here's my thing. If a game is an eye-catching from the get-go, probably not going to really... Eh. I mean, it's kind of like you eat with your eyes kind of scenario. Mm -hmm. I feel like I take in a lot of stuff visually, and then I decide from there. I'm also disabled, so I don't see well. I have light sensitivity, and everything that you just showed me is, like, perfect for me to play. Um, so 
it looks pretty cool. I'd be down. I, I I feel like they're getting ahead of it because from a Twitch standpoint, I know if I'm watching someone play Overwatch and I'm getting drops on my end, I'm a happy camper because it's less work for me to do. I can vacuum and I'm getting drops. Yes, please. <laughs> so, you know, I think that's really cool to integrate it. Like Twitch Sings definitely has integrations. Some of them are a little weird. Mm. Um but if it's something along those lines or even maybe a little better, I think that'd be really cool. And I think the audience would like it and participate. Sometimes you you do have, I hope it's not too much participation because sometimes you have those 17 people in your chat that are just like, eh, I don't feel like clicking on anything, you know? Mm. So we'll see. I think it's a great idea. I, I, I want to see it in action is my, my thought. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, yeah. anything, uh, were you going to say something, uh, Goth, or were you... Did- no, I mean, I, I I knew that they were working on a, a game. I didn't know specifically that they were going to try to do some integration stuff, which I think is pretty neat. But I'm kind of in the same boat with Lex. I, I, I want to see what they have to offer as far as the integration goes, because there are times that I'm just like, yeah, let's collaborate with the audience. And then the audience and is like, I'm making no. dinner. <laughs> so, um, I'm busy, I mean, sorry. But I mean, that sounds cool. That trailer looks beautiful. So mm-hmm. I, I, I'll definitely give that a try. You know what? Well, it's like, but like theoretically, it's like you know, like one of the worst things that, for me personally when I used to play MMOs, one of the wor- worst places to do or the worst features that they like that they like to sh- like shove in our faces as a gamer was open world PvP, like or or area PvP, uh, like a specific zone where you had to do some sort of specific, like you know, things just to uh, just to PvP with people. And uh, and people never really bit like you know uh, like decided to take give it a try and it was like that like not just a specific game but a lot of different most for most game most MMOs during its time I mean but the best way I mean don't you kind of feel that it's like this would this is a perfect opportunity to see that level of integration to kind of start messing around with it to see what people would like to like what what people are wanting to. Uh, uh, to you know uh, uh, be entertained with and stuff because i mean like you gothics like for instance like i mean you have a good fall you have a really good uh, good size following of people that like to watch you like i mean be you and then just play play uh play games and be interactive like i mean like if like if they tell you like oh if you do this for me uh in this game i mean i think i mean don't you think that that would actually engage your audience even more towards that you know I, I think it depends uh, because, like I said, some days I get a lot of engagement. Some days I get nothing. People just want to sit back and watch me play the game. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm personally one of those that like interactiveness. I like engaging with my audience. So, like, I would I, I think I'd be more excited to play something like that than my actual community would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tell you all that. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe maybe the community doesn't want to play it, but maybe I think the community would like to. I think I think maybe uh, it would be kind of a cool additional thing, not like force thing, but an additional thing yeah. that they could actually help you uh, like uh, they could actually be a part of uh, a part of it. It's like, yeah, we're a part of the uh, the goth squad and we're just going to we're going to knock all y'all fools out by by just doing these <laughs> these crazy incentives, you know. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm just I'm just saying I mean, I just think that I think this is the info, uh, the infantile stages of that kind of integration is what I'm saying. It's like it like uh, yeah. just like how trophies were really were really aggressive back in the days. Uh, the trophy system for PlayStation was really, really aggressive back in the days, but mm-hmm. the, most people it was a hit and miss. Uh, but they've they've refined it to a point where it's it's very doable now. So like, I mean, it's this is like I think we're in that kind of space right now for it. You know, I think if they can figure out a way to make people want to engage, yeah, that's the key. Because for instance, like Twitch sings, like they can vote to like while you're in the middle of a song, which I'm blind as a bat. So someone in chat has to like in caps tell me there's a boat or else I can't see it. But uh, like sing like a bird. You're like, what does that mean? (laughs) And sometimes you get a lot of the voting and then half the time or most of the time, honestly, you really don't. So it just kind of depends on like how like what's the incentive? Is it going to give them like in game loot? Is it you know what I mean? Like there has to be something that makes the audience want to participate in something like that or else it's just us going to be playing a game for them to watch which that's again that's totally fine mm. but unless they really give a good incentive to make someone want to do that i don't i 
I think it'll be hit or miss, you know? I don't know. So. See, like how I feel about it, though, is that I feel like, again, it's all about how you frame it and how you put it together. A lot of stuff, especially within communities that you're, you're building or, you know, you have your communities. I think it, it's a, a great tool to be able to engage with them, have some direct fun with them, you know, depending yeah. on what kind of cool, crazy things that they can do integration wise. Um, I think it could be a, you know, I, I don't know that, you know, again, this might be something and I think this is where that that good opportunity comes from is that it's something that's new. People are going to want to try it out. Uh, you know, so I think people are more apt to, especially as it launches, uh, to go in, they'll want to participate. So I don't know that necessarily you need, and that'd be cool to have some sort of, uh, Hey, you know, you get, uh, uh, uh I don't know, the, uh, Twitch tokens or something like that, that you can use towards something or, or whatever, or maybe it's like a channel points type of deal or something mm -hmm. like that. You know what I mean? To where people are being, uh, they're wanting to engage and, and it, mm -hmm. yeah, but I, I think it's going to be a fun, fun way to be able to, uh, again, connect with the community, uh, uh, that you have and just people i think if it, if you present it to people th people are going to be eager to want to do that uh yeah. to be able to have a chance to just do something fun and hang out together yeah okay. i mean and we could be overthinking this entirely and it not be anything that we're even oh sorry redna that we're even remotely yeah. thinking about you know i'm italian okay i can't help it <laughs> um, <laughs> you know it, it could be, it could be something that it's, so, it's like super simple and we're like that's integration and it you know what i mean so we don't know until it comes out it looks cool but like at the same time i'm like am i overthinking this is this gonna be not as cool as i think it is or even cooler than i thought you know what i mean yeah we don't know like but what does integration mean it could yeah. mean a bunch of things you know so no, i mean speculations I I'll, but uh wh wait well first off when is uh when is crucibles coming out it should be coming out you said it's coming out within dude i'm pretty month. sure that's this month okay. i'm pretty sure uh let me see if i can find it in the article um uh, make you mad uh, in May, after several, yeah, so it got pushed back. So originally, May, okay, you're, you're, yeah, getting... originally, I think it was last month it was supposed to come out, and then it got pushed back uh, to this month. Oh, okay, but I don't, yeah. Oh, okay, well, it's not this month; it's May now. Yuria says it's May, or next month. Sorry, sorry, yeah, next month. Okay. I don't know what everything is melting together at this point. Okay, at so. this point, yeah. <laughs> what year are we in? <laughs> Four walls around you, just slowly closing in. Yeah, that kind of thing. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But March seventy fifth. Yeah, March seventy fifth. <laughs> <laughs> year three but uh the uh <laughs> <laughs> good topic uh smitty let's uh let's move it on uh to lex what are you bringing to the table well i have a few a few topics um my first one is short and sweet so i'll get on with that mm -hmm. um detective lex is on the case are you guys ready this uh -huh. is more for you guys so not you guys but them um so if I had the Epic Inspector Gadget theme song right now, that's what I would be doing right now. <laughs> yeah. yep. uh, Epic Games responds to a house party hate with a bounty. Now, earlier, I want to say in the week, you may have seen a tweet and you may have not seen a tweet. So I will enlighten you. You're welcome. We are investigating indications that the recent hacking rumors were spread by a paid commercial smear campaign to harm house party. We are offering a million dollar bounty for the first individual to provide actual proof of such a campaign to bounty at houseparty.com. Uh, so if you're like, what the heck is house party? It's kind of like a discord, but it's epics. Uh, so Epic games, Fortnite. um, they're also, they have a lot of free games right now. So if you don't have the Epic launcher, I recommend you get it. Even if you are not a Fortnite player, uh, there are a lot of free games that are going on and it, it may not be something that you want to play, but maybe someone in your household. So just an option by the way. Uh, but house party is basically like, um, you know, like a Discord, so you can play like tabletop games while being able to uh, hang out with your friends during the pandemic. Great, right? Everyone loves that. Well, here's what happened. Some hackers uh, got into a lot of people who were using House Party, um, so to speak, and were taking information like passwords and things like that, changing passwords so then they couldn't get into stuff. It was evident that something had happened, right? Hackers were involved. Now, here's the thing about if you don't know, I'll tell you what how hacking works. If I can get into your computer and I can steal one password, I can steal all your passwords. That's your banking information. Did you do taxes? Did you save your document? I can see your social security number, right? So it's not just like, oh, they got one little thing. 
thing and then they got kicked out. No, no, no. If I can get into your computer, I can get everything. So it was evident that hackers came into many people's uh, house party situation, so to speak, and nothing was really stolen though, right? So they got their banking information, but money wasn't missing. So it was almost like someone went in and pranked, right? Mm. Which that's not a prank, that's not funny. If you steal my password, I'm gonna be pissed, right? And that's what all these people were saying. But at the same time, it was almost like someone was doing it intentionally to get people to stop using said house party. So rumors spread and Epic finally came out and said, okay, if you guys are saying that this is a smear campaign, show us proof, we'll give you a million dollars. So there you go, guys. Merry Christmas. Go find who did it and give it to Epic. <laughs> so, but then you're like, <laughs> they should actually give it to you to to uh, 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 to be like, oh, here you go. Uh, oh, actually, gave it the wrong link. But uh, <laughs> uh, what's it called? <laughs> Uh, yeah, just give it to you as a as a commission because <laughs> right. you're like, hey, you're welcome. You're welcome. I, gave, I let you, I, I let you be aware of this. A million dollars, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, he, well, first well, off, and I have what is house I have friends party? that are using house party that aren't even gamers. Uh, so I I told a bunch of my friends because they're using Zoom and house party, which Zoom had a lot of hacking and for uh, uh, going on uh, at the beginning of the pandemic as well. Yeah. A lot of people like in the middle of conference meetings, like, you know, across the world from like us to Japan and vice versa, were having like their computers just hacked and like someone saying the N word while they were in a meeting on zoom, stuff like that's going on. Wow. So Damn. I've told people, if you're going to use services to have like professional meetings, it's just best to create a server on discord. It's safer that way. It seems. Cause I mean, I haven't heard anyone say that they've had issues with discord since all of this happened. Um, but I mean, with, with a newer application, you're always going to have issues, right? But with something like that, Epic is one of those companies that would put in uh, firewalls so that things like that don't happen. Right. And especially like on your cell phone, if you're using the application and you get hacked, that's a big deal. Cause a lot of the times your iPhone is saving all of your passwords. Right. So that's all oh, red flags for everybody when that happens. So, I mean, not to say that you should use the application. I'm just saying, if you want a million dollars, get to investigating. You have plenty of time. <laughs> just go for it go for it that's so weird yeah. though yeah I mean, that's just such a weird thing uh but real quick uh man mark 1997 why is epic trying to be better uh, than steam and discord uh i don't think it's that i think it's you know i mean with companies and to do these kind of to have their own kind of proprietary things like sometimes companies feel like they just need to do it and yeah. uh like I mean, I, I think one of the best prime examples of this is just anyone who does anyone who's in the FGC community is uh wanting rollback uh rollback uh code pass co uh rollback uh uh code for online uh, online gaming. Get this the the technology is absolutely free, but companies refuse to do it because it's not made by their own company. So who knows, man? It's just like uh, it's very very weird, you know. So uh who knows. I'll be honest, from like a non-gamer standpoint, uh, for like my my gal pals, uh, it, house party seems like it's more user friendly than per se like a Discord. Um, Is like it more my dad, user friendly? Really? Wow. I think it's it's more of like it looks more of like a FaceTime integration versus like an actual server where you can then post like memes and you know what I mean. It's less interactive in that aspect, but more interactive in the we're going to play heads up with our whole group of friends and we're all in different spaces. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I mean, with having a heads up integration, I don't know if you guys have played it. We're huge board game fans, but I also love card games and things like that. And heads up is so much fun, especially when I'm in the hospital and like someone comes to visit me and they don't bring cards. It, it, the, the conversation gets lulled very quickly, yeah. but, uh, uh, Heads Up is a huge game in and of itself. Ellen DeGeneres created it. So for them to then partner with them is kind of a big deal. And so I feel like that's more incentive. But for the person who doesn't want to think and just be able to see their friends who may not have iPhones, you know, for FaceTime capabilities, House Party is kind of like the easy go-to. I got to be honest. Uh, but for us intellectuals, uh, you know, Discord still works. So <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm cool with that. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, if it's if it's simple, okay. In that aspect, I see why it's simpler. Simplicity makes people go for stuff like that, you know. Nice. Absolutely. Yeah, big time. Yeah. People don't. No, really uh, yeah. That yeah that uh, that's that's pretty cool that uh, that that they're setting that up and hey, prove it, prove it to us that that's a 
thing. But uh, yeah, I had never heard of it until you had said something. Uh, but just kind of looking at some of the video and stuff like that, I could see that as being kind of a simplistic way of just being able to, uh, you know, connect with other people, especially if you don't have like an iPhone or something like that. Right. Uh, it's a nice platform for that. So simplicity is absolutely uh, king when it comes. Uh, I, I feel to it. things like that. Yeah, I'm surprised that like I had no idea that they had their own, you know. Their own, yeah. yeah, I mean, their own kind of deal like that. So I was just like, that's surprising that they had their own platform to do something like that. So, yeah, more power to uh, them. Right. Uh, and I'll quickly go over my last one. Uh, it's a seven spoiler free. You heard me right. Spoiler free uh, uh, f- tips for playing the new Resident F- uh, Evil 3 that just came out. Uh huh. Number yes. one, explore every area thoroughly. This should be obvious. <laughs> Right. Uh, but there's some new things in Raccoon City. I'm not gonna say more, but just 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 look around more, okay? Don't be lazy. Did you call it Macaroon uh, City? I said Raccoon City. Uh, I, like, I wanna live in Macaroon City. Is there a Macaroon City? That sounds Macaroon great. City. I was like, did you say Macaroon City? I'm all about that place. <laughs> I was like, I don't recall Macaroon City in, in the Reds of Evil. I gotta restart Animal delightful. Crossing. I gotta change my island to Macaroon City. <laughs> <laughs> to make everyone have blood stains on them. Uh, n- number two, you don't need to kill every enemy. Fun fact. Um, for obvious reasons yes. it's not doom you don't have to kill everybody red barrels are your friends always remember they go explodey uh knife every zombie on the floor you never know they could that be should be right. like a, that's just a no that's just a, a, an apocalypse uh like a zombie apocalypse mm-hmm. like like common thing all, that should always happen they're all gray and they look familiar stab yeah. them all you never know kill the first kill the first zombie at raccoon city police station um, I would read why, but if I do, then I spoil things. So just <laughs> do it. Uh, watch Nemesis in every encounter before wasting any of your ammo. Uh, he's a hard boss to beat, and the remake, they're not going to make it easier for you. So save your ammo. Make sure you watch his counterattacks and use your ammo wisely. And number seven, last but not least, expect to be surprised. <laughs> and that is yeah. all from me. <laughs> No, <laughs> it's like the game of you're, like, you're gonna be surprised. <laughs> what, what does that mean? I don't know. Like, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Forget about Knife, it. Oh, knifing zombies on the ground is just like a drag. A dra- I almost said dragon for some. <laughs> I'm looking at a dragon guard meme. That's no. The, that's uh, the mayor of Macron City. It's a Resident Evil like staple. <laughs> Like, I remember the very first time I played Resident Evil 4, I struggled, and then I learned you're supposed to just knife the crap out of them. You shoot yeah. a, you shoot them in the leg once, and then you just knife them to death. Half the time, they won't move when you shoot them, and then you gotta knife them to make sure they're actually dead. But yeah, I just, you know, I thought it was a silly article. There was another one, but it had too many spoilers. Uh, also, I had no idea Resident Evil 3 Remake was out. I saw everyone playing it the other day, and I was like... Did everyone have a meeting that I just wasn't a part of what happened here? <laughs> um, and so I, I was looking, I'm like, that that looks familiar but different. Um, I didn't realize so, it actually got released. I thought it was getting released in the summer. No, no one said nothing Don't to Don't you Lex. find it funny that, like, I mean, like, the, literally the two biggest games that are coming out that's been coming out are remakes from games that came out back in the yeah. 1990s? Right. Like, I mean, it's kind of very weird to me that that's like, wow, okay, that sounds awesome. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm playing games on my Game Boy again, so, like, when I'm using the the facilities, I've been busting my Game Boy out and playing some old school games on there to keep myself busy. You're talking about the old school spinach green Game Boy, the one that, or you're talking about, like, the Game Boy Color? My Game Boy Color, which is green. (laughs) Oh, okay. (laughs) I've been I've been playing I've been busting him out and then I could I too old and I can't see the screen very well so now I'm looking into getting a backlight and I'll put that together during the pandemic it'll give me something to do I think it's time to get an SP No <laughs> I'm not finding another device <laughs> I'm so mad about the SP like as a child I got my Game Boy Advance a week before they announced the Game Boy SP Isn't that the worst 
don't hate that i got a, I got a playstation 2 right before well no look at all these rich people that are around you are around me right now i man, like i would have been loving to have it like a, at least any of it but like the last thing i like i had a nintendo skip to a playstation skip to the, like the middle of the ps2 that's all i had it was oh, my no, big no. christmas gift and i got like nothing else and then <laughs> my sister like got a uh, Game Boy SP like mo- a couple months later oh, so man. she had the nicer one and I had this thing that didn't have a backlight or anything and I was just like oh man pandemonium we got a dreamcast the week before they dropped the price that's terrible oh. <laughs> no oh. you know what i never had a system as a kid i always played on other systems but i was also outside digging holes i feel like we've discussed this i don't know why i dug we holes. Have not. that's what i did <laughs> um, i don't remember this conversation at all that's not why that were you thing digging, I did. why were you digging holes you just dig holes know. yeah trying to catch the dragon and then I would take them <laughs> like sh- like powdered sugar sifter. Uh-huh. In Vegas, there's not much to do, okay? And we would sit on the side of his house, uh-huh. and I would sift sand, and we made soft sand, which we could then turn into concrete. I don't know. We pretended we were construction workers, but we did this every day for like 10 years, okay? My God. Um, but they had a Nintendo, <laughs> and okay. I would play on theirs, and then they had the first Game Boy, and I didn't get a Game Boy until much much later i want to say it was at least nine or ten and the game boy color had been out for a while there was no no news that i knew of of like another system coming out Uh but i didn't really have a lot of stuff and the only reason my mom got me that was because i was driving her nuts in the car on the way to ice skating competitions she's like oh this was (laughs) 12 hour drives Mm-hmm. Man, oh god! She said I was either talking too much or sleeping too much, so she got me a Game Boy. So there was no in between uh, between talking or sleeping. Okay, You're- yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. My God, that's freaking crazy. What was your first system, yeah. Gothics? Just quite, just wondering. Um, first system was uh, original Nintendo. I had nice. uh, first games I had was uh, Punch Out or Knockout, whatever I forget what it's called. <laughs> uh, I, I had some NASCAR game and I had like original Mario. Yes. Nice. Uh, yeah, so that was the first one. Okay, so like, well, like we had like, I had like two games. We had Double Dragon 2 and. Um, that was a game? Yeah, Double Dragon? Double Dragon was, was right. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what was okay. the other one? Oh, Super Mario Brothers, the first Super Mario Brothers. On my birthday, I remember specifically on my birthday, we didn't have enough money because, I mean, games were still like $60, $60 $70 back then on cartridges. And, uh, like, uh, we. Uh, we were so hyped that uh, on my like I think like my eighth or ninth birthday when Super Mario Three came out, we knew we couldn't afford it. So, but we we were able to rent it. So my my parents <laughs> my parents wrapped up a no. There was actually it wasn't even Blockbuster. It was a company. Oh, it was really? a group called Payless Videos. That's the name. <laughs> that's I what it was. That. <laughs> yes, oh, Payless Videos. Yeah. And then like uh, and then we uh, they they were able to get the Mario Brothers Three. And so like uh, the second we played, they was like, okay, we got three days <laughs> we got three days to finish this game and uh and we my brother and i just stormed like we were just playing that for hours like because it was a spring it was spring break and we just like destroyed that game that so that, that's what most of my time was what we were when i was a kid but it was it's, it's, it's yeah, really I've only, cool i've only had four so the game boy i got as someone gave me their sega when i moved to texas and they gave me the cartridges, but then my mom couldn't afford to buy new ones. Uh-huh. So I would just trade kids at school. I'm like, do you have a Sega Genesis? And they're like, yeah, I don't play that thing. And I'm like, I'll give you my lunch today if I can borrow your cartridge. They're like, you can have it. Rocket Knight Adventures was my favorite game of all time. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't and then I got Rocket a, Knight. Yeah. Yeah. And then I got a PlayStation 2. And my whole family pitched in, and they all got me games, but they were terrible, like a motorcycle game. I've never even gotten past the second level on that thing. How do you do a loop-de-loop on a motorcycle? I don't know. <laughs> uh, and then my PlayStation 4, and that's it. That's all I've ever so, had. Yeah. That's so crazy, man. We're all playing, like, the little, like, who was poor kind of game right now. <laughs> well, again, no, like, that, like, yeah. was terrible. Blockbuster would let you rent a game for one night. One night. How am I supposed terrible. to do anything? And my mom would do it, like, on a Thursday oh, so, so that so when randomly. I got off school. 
Like, how am I supposed you to got get four two hours. hours of gameplay? Stop it. It's like, good my, luck. Uh, my boyfriend's mom used to work at Blockbuster, and he said that she used to, like, hide games away for him and then, like, rent them out longer. So, like, he got the hook of growing up, at least. Oh, God. See, so that's the kind of hookups hey. that you always Bestie. wanted. Like, the what, the best hookups was, like, when you have a friend that worked at Blockbuster during that time, too. Yep. You're totally right. <clears throat> yeah, so the... uh Oh my God! Yeah, wow, that's so crazy. And then now it's like it's so it's so nice to nice to just say that we don't need not don't need to worry as much on it. But now it's like we're having overabundance of different kinds of games coming in. <laughs> so, oh, someone asked me the other day what my favorite Mario game was, and I spit it out, and they were like, "I've never even heard of it." I'm like, "Really? Which Mar oh, Mario? Mario really? and the Six Gold Coins? That's like the best." Oh one. damn! I played yeah. that one. What is that? Is that, I that never, I you can borrow it. It is a kid. Is that handheld? Oh, I loved it. Yeah. I could always get to the ca like Wario's castle, but I could never beat it. Oh yeah, no, that was like, uh, well, I can't beat Wario. I hate Wario too. I can't beat it still. But uh, yeah, no, the six gold coins. It, it had like a spooky castle element to it, and Wario Wario is the bad guy, which is like Mario's. Wario's the bad guy though. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, it's really cool, and like, there's like a really cool underwater. Like that was the first like integration of octopus in a in a handheld game. Mm -hmm. It was really cool. I've never seen any like drawings of octopus like that since, but it was a really neat game. I highly recommend if you guys can, you know, get like what's the fandangle thing you new kids do with like the old school making it new school. Yeah, do that. <laughs> you mean <laughs> okay? What's it called? I can't English. Wario. First game of Mar Wario was a uh, War was it Wario Mario Land uh, two? No, Mar was it Mario yeah, Land? Yeah, that's that's six gold coins. Mario Land two six oh, gold coins. That's what yeah. it was. Yeah, yeah, okay. I had no idea. Yeah, it's so good. Mario I'll let you borrow it, Smitty. Hard and impossible to beat the one with uh, uh, the lost oh, levels. Man. No, 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 not the lost levels. The one that was on uh, it was on Nintendo. Um, you had the radishes and stuff like that. Oh, Mario Two. Mario wasn't, that, wasn't that Mario Two? Well, technically, yeah. it's not. That Mario Two wasn't really Mario Two. That was a Actually, different game. Actually, it's Doki Doki yeah, Panic. Yeah, it's Doki Doki Panic. So they what Lost Levels what? was was Mario Two, but we never got it because Japan thought that we were too stupid to. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, oh. like, dude, back in the day, Japan did not have any kind of like you know hopes for U.S. gamers at all. Oh yeah, so, like, no, uh, absolutely not. Yeah, so they so they're like. <laughs> Yeah, we this idiots. game is going to be too hard, so we're gonna we're gonna make our own game. We're gonna give them a different version of the game and then make it like you know simpler. But that game was not simple either, though in its in, in its defense. But the, so they thought that Doki Doki Panic was something that we could handle, uh, and uh, but they didn't give us uh, the real Mario Two until Mario All Stars, which was Lost Levels. So yeah, that was Lost Levels is just mean. It was just dickish. <laughs> yeah, what you could what you had to do with it, some of that stuff like poison mushrooms. Oh yeah, it was such. It's a good game. Don't get me wrong, but it's as that. if the Mario, like the level designers, just made troll levels. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so mean. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, man, the, she was like, if you're talking about early Japan during that time, it's it was no joke. But it's like, oh man. Well, Smitty was lucky. He was in Okinawa, so he probably had access to said games. But he didn't. Yeah. Um, I don't remember like I remember a lot of like I don't remember a lot of like from like Nintendo but I remember a lot more from from uh, Super Nintendo mm. because you could get the uh, Super Famicom uh, cartridges <laughs> were a little different than the Super Nintendo but if you took a butter knife and you etched in uh, the inside <laughs> it would make it so it fit into a Super Nintendo and it would work yeah uh, is how we were gaming and stuff <laughs> are you talking about like the little yeah there was like yeah these little those little notch blocks that you had to yeah. take out yeah i remember yeah like so like because there was no such thing as caught like you know as uh as breaking a game break uh breaking the game and stuff you just like uh so it just it did they basically made a physical the hardware would just didn't physically push down uh unless you take out oh, those boy. notches yeah if you take out those notches right you have a you have a region free super nintendo at that point That's exactly yeah what yeah Fantastic. Yeah, it's really it's great. It was it, it was crazy during those times, man. So many different kinds of cars. Yeah, so many. Or like, or the other easier way, if you didn't want to do that, just get a game genie. 
Because Game Genie, yeah. get, uh, Dude, we absolutely yeah. had a Game Genie. Yeah, Game Genie didn't care. So like, you just connect the Game Genie, and, <laughs> and then I'm googling like, this. I've never heard of Game Genie. Really? Oh what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I know what Game Genie is. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, I still love blowing my goddaughter's minds when they come over and they're like, "I want to play computer games with you," or like Adam's busy doing something and I'm busy. I'm like, no, 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 no. Let me bust out the Sega for you. And she's like, <laughs> it's not working. I put it in. Yeah. I'm like, you have to blow on it. <laughs> you gotta blow. And then he, she's like, "Really? This is a lot of work." I give up. Like, this is just too I'm much. Like, yes. You have it easy. They all have tablets, and they they're do. not rich by any means, but they all have tablets. I don't even have a tablet. I don't, I don't know if you guys also saw, but um, for like Mario anniversary this year, Nintendo is planning on bringing um a ton of like uh, older 3d games to the switch i did hear that I like, they're doing, official, i'm though. pretty sure they're doing like hd remasters for them they said uh, they're yeah. bringing mario 64 you know what the one game that i think people should play Ooh, i love that the one game that i think people should really try giving another chance on is mario sunshine because i think mario oh, sunshine. I love sunshine so much yeah, they're mario doing yeah i believe they're, they're doing they're doing 64 sunshine and um mario world and i believe mario galaxy one and two yeah. at least one so Even though two, is, two is actually a better game if they put them together in one game that would be amazing i mean if someone gives me bubble bubble i'll be real happy I love bubble bubble. <laughs> that was raw I, I had a computer bubble bubble was the only game i ever bought on like my old like flip phone <laughs> way way back in the day oh my goodness your end gauge flip phone <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's <laughs> so crazy man okay so i guess that was my topic apparently so, <laughs> so we'll definitely go we're just talking about nostalgia right there so i guess there we go so but uh we're almost out of time here but anyways we'll we'll, we'll uh we'll do that again next week uh gothics thank you so much for stopping by with us um if you like to promote uh, anything uh, like uh well first off what what's, you your, what's your twitch my twitch is uh twitch.tv slash gothics uh, but if you want to follow me on social, you can find me at Gothics TV. Um, and thank you for having me, y'all. Y'all have been so lovely. <laughs> yeah, the, thank oh, yeah. you. Well, we're definitely. It was a pleasure. It's all art. It was, it was, it's really great. I definitely loved it. Enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, de- and y'all need to definitely check out her stuff. She has a really really oh crazy setups uh set up on her twit on her twitch pages so definitely check her out on gothics um is there what are you planning on streaming anything uh what's your plans this week uh what are you planning on doing this week so uh planning on getting back to streaming i haven't been kind of motivated as of late but i'm gonna see. try my best to stick to a schedule <laughs> and i have some new things i've been working on this weekend so you'll just have to see yes perfect Yay! great deal and uh lex what about you what you uh, what are you up to well, I'm not as cool as Gothics. My robot is still in my head. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think, uh, oh, we have something planned for tomorrow, and I can't remember what it is. Oh, Monster Hunter Monday, of course, Spoopy Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we're going to play a new game for Spoopy Tuesday. Uh, we're going to start a new one. Oh, okay, uh, nice. Along with the community games afterwards, uh, mm. which is first come, first serve. Uh, we've been having a line lately. Sorry, guys. I can't help that. Um <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I think Monday I'm going to have a special guest who might do my makeup before we actually play games. So if you want to watch Adam, a.k.a. Indust, uh, you know, fumble around with some makeup on my face and hilarity ensue, you should definitely uh, check that out. And then, of course, uh, my stream partner, JTZ, will be joining me this week on something. So if you like watching two adults scream. Uh, like profusely stream stream (laughs) (laughs) headphone warning don't wear headphones if you come on tuesdays yes don't (laughs) don't. nope really funny oh and risk of rain that was what it is risk of rain had a new update so i know a bunch of us are going to play that this week too (laughs) very nice i haven't played risk of rain since (gasps) it like got officially released i don't think pop come play with us we'll help you get all the characters there you go yeah y'all need to definitely uh, be playing that'll be that's awesome and uh uh, Smitty. Smitty. What do you have I planned am, this week? 
<laughs> I'm actually going to take a break this week. Uh, I don't have any scheduled streams. I, you know, obviously will be, uh, I, I may have some things on some other channels. Uh, we've got, uh, obviously this podcast will be coming out, uh, drops, uh, on Monday. Uh, I've got land parties, uh, that's going to be dropping, uh, this Wednesday. And then I did a podcast with uh, retro lag, uh, here last week. So check that out. Uh, I'm Smitty two, four, four, seven on all the socials taking a break. I wanted to take a step back. There's a lot of, uh, uh cr like things that i want to implement uh within my stream uh that i just haven't you know it's been so busy and crazy at work and whatnot i just want to take some time step back for a second let me get my my ish together uh because we got a lot of fun stuff uh in store so um yeah i'll be chilling but I, obviously i'll be around uh, i'll be hanging out uh, i'll be playing a lot of uh last oasis overwatch uh if Ooh, we're friends uh you know hit me up Hit me up. Let's get some games in. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to to, to chill a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's slick. Yeah, you know what? That's probably a good game to actually stream on this channel. That's because like we need. We, uh, we're, we're now. Where are we at now? I think we're like five away to get to the fifty on the affiliate. We got so, a lot of followers today. Yeah, that's cool. I really Division appreciate two. it. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I'll, so many different things I'll to do. Through, yeah, yeah. I'll so, stream Last Oasis through here. I'm gonna yeah. do that. I'm gonna start my thing after the podcast. So if yeah. you need me to take up some time i'll, I'll do that for you yeah, i'm definitely. real interested in last oasis last oasis now. is I'm tight glad the servers are back up no it's really they are good. Adam, it is. I, adam was attacked yesterday and i told him that if he gets attacked again he better come and get me and i'm gonna talk to them while he fights them off <laughs> Yo, as tina as, as, tina. as tina i'm gonna do it get out of here y'all yeah, all right it'll... and then for me on the cfg game cat uh, games uh i'm gonna be on cfg games we uh actually you know, after today i think i'm gonna be doing another anime uh game today so i'm gonna do some one piece uh pirate warriors 4 uh today and uh i don't know i i'm trying i'm debating and i've actually wanted to get y'all's opinion on this but like because i wasn't really sure because like you know everyone and their moms are going to be streaming final fantasy this weekend right so like it's like it's not even gonna be it's not even gonna be fun like those kind of games i kind of like to go on my own to kind of just be like you yeah. know what i don't want to i don't want the, i'm not streaming the, it the deal yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like i'm not gonna be playing yeah. it I'm gonna enjoy it myself dude yeah i just want to enjoy it so like the uh and to me because me i'm personally i'm not a big fan of final fantasy 7 so like the uh uh so you know what shut up smitty <laughs> <laughs> don't judge me but uh but still like i, I just shame <laughs> i think but like i understand why it's so why it's so important but uh but like i was just wondering like are, were y'all play playing on uh on streaming it too or are y'all in the same boat you kind of want to enjoy that kind of situ that kind of world on your own and then maybe I don't know in a while before like the four hundred thousand people are going to be playing this game, <laughs> this just this chapter of a game, mind you, to be uh, to, to maybe then decide. You know what? I'll probably play it. <clears throat> uh, but uh, what's it called? What are you gonna say, Lex? Sorry. Oh, I, I'm not gonna play it at all. I've actually never played any of the Final Fantasy games. Oh, you don't like <gasps> RPG? Are you, are you, you're not a big fan of RPGs. No, it's though. not that I had. Blasphemy. That's not true. Uh, I was a broke ass kid, so I didn't have the option to play them. <laughs> uh -huh. And I feel like now there's so many other games that I are on my like top. Like last year, we finished all of the um, Kingdom Hearts games. That was a childhood like. Oh, I had to play those games. Also, Wishbone, I'm going to beat that game. I don't care if I have to break my computer to figure out how to bring it back because it was on a floppy disk. Wait, are we I talking about Wishbone, like the dog Wishbone? Or yeah, are we talking Wishbone's about Odyssey. Um, yeah, I had it on <laughs> floppy disk on ROM on my PC. Like, like those are games that I, in my mind, are ahead of any of the Final Fantasy. It's not that I don't want to play them. They just, eh, they're, they look cool. I don't but know your logic right now. I, <laughs> I, I don't. I can't. I can't say I agree with where you're going know. with it. I mean, I'm, I'm not yelling at you, it. but I, know, I don't know. I know Smitty is gonna play it, and he's gonna play it off stream and enjoy it, and absolutely love it, and I'm happy for him. And and I understand the appeal of it because yeah. I do play Kingdom Hearts, uh -huh. and I know who like Cloud and all of those characters are. I just. Uh, there's a lot of I'm light sensitive, and so there's a lot visually that I'm not going to see if I play those games. I think Kingdom now. Hearts is a lot more colorful than what Final Fantasy VII is, though. Yeah, but a lot of Final Fantasy has uh, that like bluish white like streaking uh, when they do their attacks, and uh, I can't see for see. like a good ten seconds after that happens, and that's a lot. Do you know that they, may, um, they, have, they, would, they would a colorblind mode work for you? 
No, because it, colorblind is like blue green issues or like the red color. Uh -huh. uh, it's not that I can't see color. It's that I see white too intensely. So like, like, let's say you uh -huh. were to text me mm -hmm. like in discord, it takes me a second for like that. Oh, it's like looking at a headlight. Like I have that halo and then uh -huh. it takes a minute for it to come back in for me to even tell that it's a letter. Uh, and that's the issue with a lot of games for me. And so if you guys are ever like, why is Alex playing X, Y, or Z? It's probably because I can't see it very well. Oh, uh, okay. I see. Well, okay. Well, I mean, there you go. I mean, like it's a future. We're not judging you on it. Well, no, you did. <laughs> but, uh, we'll see. But uh, okay. Sorry. Well, we will definitely uh, be uh, stopping the uh, the podcast at this point. Guys, thank you so much for watching episode number 42 of the CFG Gamecast. We will be uh, back again next weekend with our new episode. As always, I'd like to thank once again Gothics to be a part of the, uh, the conversation, which was really awesome. Uh, and uh, we'll definitely... Uh, come check it out on uh, uh if you haven't if you didn't check this out on live go on our podcast services on apple google podcast stitcher radio or podbean for the full episode so this is davis gothics lex and smitty signing off y'all take it easy bye bye